We need to start this off by slicing this to make a cross section that will give us a square. Now this one is the most difficult of all of them because to make a square, uh, where would we cut it? In the direct middle. Yeah, sure. Uh, in the direct middle, let's say. So what this means is I'm going to take my razor blade. I don't actually have one, you guys. I'm just saying. We're going to cut it with the razor blade. And I've, I'm just going to place the razor blade along this side, and I'm going to slice it straight through this cube. So this would cut through this way, and then it would end the cut on the other side. Now let me clean this up so that it looks nice. Bam, there we go. Now the cross section is the two-dimensional shape that comes from slicing this three-dimensional shape. And if we looked at this straight on, it would end up being a square. Now that we've done the square, we need to be able to cut this thing in order to make a rectangle, which sometimes can be extremely difficult. But there's several ways that we can do it. Well, at least two. So, yesterday we saw this from one of the people in class. So they would put the razor blade right on that corner right here. And what they will do is they're going to slice it all the way to this other corner up in here. Okay. So that's, that's the shape that we're going to have. Let's clean it up. Bam. There we go. Now what shape was created from the cross section? Well, this one... Now, three-dimensional looks like a trapezoid, kind of, but yes, this one is going to give us a rectangle, something like this. So that slice, that cross-section gave us a rectangle. All right, now I'm going to make another rectangle. Some of you guys may not have understood that that would be a rectangle. The slice, like at these... That red line is now what we call a hypotenuse of a right triangle, which is longer than the other sides. So, uh, that's why that was a rectangle. But there's another way we can rec make a rectangle. What I would do is I would place my razor blade across this line right here. And this time, though, I'm going to slice it diagonally like these. That didn't work out great, but... Now, what I have, if I had drawn that better, is a rectangle. Bam, there we go. Now, if I were to draw this, if I were to draw this out, then I would have some kind of, it'd be a long, skinny rectangle now. But it's still a rectangle. All right, next up, let's go ahead and look at that triangle. So just to emphasize this, I'm going to put the razor blade all the way across. And then I'm just going to push it down and towards us to this corner right here. It could be really anywhere on this line, and it would give you a triangle. But this just may look better in the end. So let's go ahead and it's going to cut down right here. There we go, that looks better. And there we go. That creates a triangle right here. And we have the slicingness. Just to emphasize that that would be a triangle. So we're going to cut into this thing to make a pentagon, which is a five-sided shape, something like a tease. In order to make a pentagon, there are several ways we can do this, but just so we can see the sliciness of a tease, is I am going to place my razor blade along this line. And I'm going to drive the razor into the cube, diagonally towards us, into this point right here. So what that would do is it's going gonna, it's gonna to drive the blade into these. And then as we go further diagonally, it's going to come into this point right here. So let me clean this up again. That right there is a pentagon. Oh, I need a... I need to cut off that part too. Ah, that's much better. All right, then if you want gravy, you'd get some whole milk, maybe, and mix it with your cow blood. Whatever you want. 
All right. In any case, that gives us a pentagon. I mean, it's upside down with the way that we drew it, but that's okay. Let's specify. What we want to do is cut a hexagon, right? So a hexagon, how many sides does a hexagon have? So if we're going to cut a six-sided shape out of these, it should look, I don't know, something like these. Right again. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, make this a nice hexagoner. I'm going to make this slice starting right here. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to be driving the blade down to this part right here. Now, before when we made the penta <coughs> excuse me pentagon, we we're aiming for this other corner on the opposite part. Now we're aiming for this part to make a full side, extra side. So as I drive my blade down, on that side it would go over here, something like these. And then as I continued to drive it downwards and diagonally, then I would get this shape. So let's go ahead and clean it up. There's a nice beautiful hexagoner. You guys wanted the uh, gravy. So there we go. Something like this. Bam. <laughs>